Coming up next, Rolling Rock. I'd like to apologize for our recent TV ad where an ape parachutes into a pool party and dances in a suggestive manner with a sexy lady. We produced this ad because a recent survey showed that ape tops dog, otter, and rat as the animal most associated with pool parties. Nevertheless, we apologize. Rolling Rock is a classic extra pale lager with a rich tradition, and we regret this lapse in judgment. Kathleen, I know you weren't expecting this, but can you openly conjecture about what kind of survey a rat might win? Okay, so my question was looking at this was who is this aimed at it? And I, and I think they're doing this sort of weird, um, almost like a Philip Morris type situation where they, they claim to almost be shooting it at irre like sort of irreverent 20-somethings. But by the time 20-somethings get to the point of drinking age, they are so cynical about commercials that this whole, we're trying not to be funny, but we really think that we're being quite funny, doesn't work on them. It's a shtick that's been overdone. So the, I think that the target market for this is about 14-year-old boys who still think cheap beer is good and who think <laughs> things about pool parties and the phrase sexy ladies, that that would be sort of funny. <laughs> well, <laughs> it's, well the, the context for this is what really knocks me out, is, is this commercial was built on a web commercial. They actually made a spot, yeah. Anheuser-Busch, who has bought Rolling Rock and closed down the, the Latrobe Latro Brewery, yes, yeah. putting you know all those people out of work right. and making everybody in Latrobe so hate them. They, it's a so very rich, rich, yeah, rich, exactly. Yeah. They um, created this viral campaign mm -hmm. where they made this this 48-second spot of an ape flying into a pool party and said it was banned because it was controversial, and then immediately put it on the web. And then they put this spot on air saying, Oh, we apologize for, and you look at the first spot and you go, no one could believe it's controversial. So they, they made up a spot, they made up a controversy, they made up a response, and exactly what you're saying, the people they're going for, I think, are hip to it and yeah. way ahead of them. Yeah. And I think, I think that's brilliant. I think that's why this works. This works as, it's satirizing itself. And I always, I always like something that's self-effacing. And obviously the original webcast wasn't to be taken seriously. And this obviously isn't to be taken seriously. And by the way, I'm 45 and I'm still not opposed to cheap beer. Um, <laughs> but actually, and this is, this is one of the things I like about this ad and the way it works as satire for me is usually the actors don't stand out in television commercials. And in this case, this guy is so deadpan and so earnest. Mm -hmm. I think he does a great job with this. And he actually stood out and he, he made me laugh. It is aimed at 20-somethings uh, uh, and, you know, uh, adolescent boys mm -hmm. older than 14, you know. Oh, yeah? Um, yeah, because, you know, they're measuring how many people go to that website and look at that... Um, Advert at that mm -hmm. gorilla advertisement, and, and I think I read that they said there were 500,000 people who went looking for the gorilla advertisement after they saw this ad on TV. It's up to 1.2 million, and, it was pro and you, you probably just looked earlier in the week because yeah. it just—I'm sure yeah. it just ripped. It's yeah. just amazing yeah. to me. Mm -hmm. So it worked, and it, it worked far beyond this kind of really young demographic, and people weren't completely cynical about it. Um, I do think it's an anti-commercial commercial, and that's really become popular oh, as yes. commercials try to stand mm -hmm. out from mm -hmm. the clutter. You know, um, they, they say, look, I'm not a commercial, wink, wink. Um, you know, mm -hmm. I, I'm, I know what commercials are trying to do to you, wink, wink. And, and they're using this mechanism <laughs> you know? of, of a full crisis management. Now, real crises occasionally happen to corporations. I mean, there was the Tylenol thing you know, oh, a yeah. decade ago. And, and there was, recently there was a thing with lettuce in some of the Mexican food I'm places. Sure. Mm -hmm. It made me wonder, could they create, could those companies create a crisis management um, farce right over their real crisis so most people go, that was a joke. Oh, that would be fantastic. Mm -hmm. Now, uh, that great. would be fantastic. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. 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 I was also wondering about the conglomerated aspect because they're bringing in, you know, these animals, whereas Budweiser has its own stable of, you know, lizards, frogs, dogs, yeah, horses. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And so they brought this in to like seamlessly <laughs> interweave. Now they've almost got half a zoo put together at mm -hmm. this point. I, if I was going to throw a pool party, I do think I'd invite the ape over the rat. <laughs> Definitely. You yeah. know, I think if you're going for irreverent 25 year olds, you go with the otter. I really do. It's, it's irreverent. It's, it's but it goes in the pool. It starts swimming. It's not going to party like the ape party. Oh, I, well, <laughs> I think what's important for me about that whole conversation is that it's nonsense. 
The whole thing about the otter and and if you look at the original commercial, you can see that it's nonsense because the ape at the pool party is kind of a sexualized figure. The way he plays guitar. And the way he's the bikini. Yeah, 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 yeah. And 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 you know that that's not you know you wouldn't have the same kind of discourse around an otter. You know, now that we've done this segment, more people are going to be going to look on the web. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Anyway, time for our exit question. Name something else a recent survey shows. Jim. A survey I saw (laughs) on Univision. They were showing Family Feud. It was, and ah. they, I didn't get the question. I only got <laughs> the top three answers, and the top three answers were burros, caballos, horses, and Jenna and Barbara Bush. <laughs> <laughs> oh no! It'd be good to know what that question. I, yeah. Oh, so we Leola. can just guess. Leola. Well, I, the, I just saw a survey that said that 230,000 people a day add. Um, open account on MySpace. Wow. The averages, and that they now have a hundred million accounts. Wow. Get me? And it's made, but the viral marketing thing made me think about that. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Oh, yeah, no, it's good. Uh, Americans love Barack Obama. Hmm. Jim? Uh, I was going to say 70% of Americans are opposed to the other 30% of Americans. <laughs> <laughs> That's all too true. <laughs> I oppose you for saying that. Yeah, see? Yeah. Which well, side I'm, am I I'm, on? I'm in the 30%. <laughs> oh, I'm always on the losing uh, team. Yeah. Only 12% of Americans believe that advertising directly affects them. 